this is a an SMA Sunny Boy 4000 but we've got eight panels on it and it's been working quite well for quite a while but now um, a fault has reoccurred okay as you see here isolation resistance check generator so we've got an isolation fault and I think it's in well it is in the DC side so we've got a problem uh, I had this problem a while ago and I swapped some wires over and it was alright and now it's not so I think it's in the underground cable which goes from the panels to this inverter so uh, the thing to do after messing around last time I'm just going to roll a piece of temporary cable out over ground and see what happens hopefully you can see that there isolation resistance uh, different inverters come up with different uh, um, terms the solar rivers come out with isolation fault uh, the ABBs it's to, it's RISO um, so all sorts of things but basically we've got a problem on the DC side and it's a problem down to earth and it doesn't take very much it's the merest half of a sniff of a few milliamps and these inverters go oh, I don't like that so we'll crack on and we'll put a new cable in there and see what happens so here we go there's the temporary cable it's some 4 mil twin and earth so it's sort of double insulated and it goes off to that box there so I switched it on let's go and see what's happening in the battery shed I can but hope so here we go only on 203 watts at the moment but see the little switch there just to the right of that uh, rectifier image that's on just the single light there that's fine and there we go we're working so now I'll have to do a permanent repair somehow that'll take a lot of thought without it costing a fortune I've got some armoured cable in a pile that I've collected over the years if I need to join a piece of that I can um, set the tails at different lengths so therefore they're not in line and then around the back of a workshop I've got a bag with some pieces of big pieces of pitch in there so I could solder those together those tails together and then um, create a little channel and pour pitch in there and that will keep the wet out um, just have to use your ingenuity but the thing here is trial and error has worked out replace it with a totally different cable even though it's sort of inappropriate and uh, above ground but we've proved the point and we can leave that there for a couple of weeks just to make sure that that is the fault hopefully this will be useful to some people catch up with you soon